Hey guys it's Dreungi and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Guess who through totally legal methods acquired the voice all the cool youtubers use. Thank god because let's be honest my old voice was not it. For today's video, we are going to be exposing my entire leak pop 2020 Spotify wrapped. Yep it's that time of year again folks and comparing it to my boyfriends a little too because we are both pop stand so why not. Just quickly before we start. If you're new here please hit that subscribe button because it helps me out a lot and i'll love you forever okay sorry that's enough rambling let's get right into it okay so i'm trying not to get copyright claims on my video maybe at least once in my life so i'll put some free music in the back and talk over these bits 277 artists sounds like a lot so i don't know how realistic this is especially when i don't recall discovering that many new artists at all this mostly comes as no surprise, because I think about 90% of what I listen to nowadays is K-pop, because I've really gone off western pop, especially this year aside from a few songs. K-pop girl group and K-pop boy group as separate genres for me is funny though, because like how much of a reach lol. So Dazzle Dazzle by Wiki Miki is my most listened to song, and I cannot express how happy I am. Even if I'm kind of surprised it made it that high. I think the fact it came out quite early in the year definitely helps a lot, but that does not at all diminish its credibility as a song. It is defo up there as one of my favorites of the year. Normally it's something like Blackpink or BTS on my Spotify wrapped. Not that there is anything wrong with that. I just think my tastes have changed a little this year, so I was intrigued to see if this would change too. I will show you my final chart from 2019 vs 2020 at the end, so you can see what I mean by this. I'm literally screaming that 4 out of 5 of these are actually Mamamoo. I promise I listen to other people lol, but I can't deny that this is a year where I have properly gotten into them and it just so happens that they released some banging solos this year. All I needed was Mariah by Hwasa, and then that top 5 would be a clean sweep lol. I think I'm surprised Spit It Out by Solar is up there, because although I do love the song, I didn't think I listened to it that much. Eclipse by Moonbile is no surprise though, because I was obsessed when that came out. This is about Lie by Favorite, and I did really love this song. When it came out, I even preferred it over Loka. I used it in a bunch of my K-pop games I did on my other channel, which I may end up doing here sometime to he, and I definitely remember having this one on repeat. Check it out, if you aren't familiar I promise it's a bop. I nearly didn't include this next bit, because it's just about me loving the 2000s, but then it says my most listened to 2000s song is Abracadabra by Brown Knight Girls. I just find it super funny, that out of all the 2000s songs I grew up loving, it's a K-pop one that ends up being my most played, like what a sign of the times. When picking my artist of the year, I wasn't sure whether to go with Mamamoo or CLC, because I knew they'd both be up there, but as you can see I went with Mamamoo and to be honest, I should have no brainer read that one anyway, after seeing my songs of the year. I'm proud to be honest of both Mamamoo and CLC being up there, because talent is talent. I never understand how BTS are always high up here for me because even though I have loved them for years there's so many artists and songs in my Spotify library that I just don't feel like I ever listen to them but they're always up there somehow. I'm surprised not to see Blackpink in here this year but I'm happy that Wikimiki are in my top 5. They've defo had an amazing year. One thing that does leave a bitter taste in my mouth however is the fact that AOA are up there still. AOA used to be one of my old girl groups before everything that happened this year and I'm sorry, but I very much struggle to listen to them anymore. It's sad for me because I enjoyed their music so much for so long. But you know when something just doesn't feel right anymore? That's their music for me. It's a shame. And here's the final summary. Let's take a closer look. 
remember how I said we'd reverse it my 2019 summary. Well here she is. We'll put them side by side and look at my progression or whatever we're gonna call it. Sorry that the 2019 one on the left isn't saved in the same format, but to be fair I didn't plan on this video a year ago lol. So as you can see there are some definite changes. For one, in 2019, two of my five most listened to artists are and K-pop, whereas this year all five are K-pop. I like that the consistency is in CLC placing in my top artists. Even if no longer the very top, they're still there. And even last year there's a Mamamoo song in my top tracks, because it was when I was just starting to get into them. My absolute favorite difference to compare is the minutes listened. I had a feeling they'd increase this year because I have been working from home since March and I have music on at least at some point most work days but I did not know by how much. That's nearly double. Oh well. At least I'm getting my value for money yay. And last but not least, let's do a quick comparison to my boyfriend's. My 2021 is now on the left and his is on the right. Just for reference, he mainly listens to K-pop, rap and electronic. And his Spotify rap last year consisted of a mixture of mainly K-pop and rap. As you can see, all of his top artists are K-pop this year. As are all but one of the songs. With Blinding Lights being his favorite western song of the year. So I'm surprised it's not higher to be honest. Part of me does wonder if the amount of K-pop on his Spotify rap 2020 compared to 2019 has spiked through spending much more time with me. Especially as we now live together. But at the same time, we of course have our differences. As you can see, all but one of my artists and songs are female K-pop and all of his are male K-pop which definitely reflects us very well. I'm the girl group stan and he is the boy group stan. There was never any doubt about Atis and Wonderland being up there. If not in first position. Like they are at least somewhat high because they're one of his faves. I'll also never let him forget the fact I introduced them to him tee hee. And I'll also never let KQ Entertainment forget that they are still holding on to our hundreds of pounds for the concert in London they quote unquote postpone that we haven't heard anything on since April. Oh by the way, we are both in the same boat of not knowing why BTS are so high in our artists when we both don't listen to them as much anymore. But hey Spotify know their stats so are we to judge? Okay and that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you got this far, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you use Spotify comment down below and let me know what your Spotify rap 2020 looked like. Like I said in the beginning, if you're new here please hit that subscribe button for more K-pop videos. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.